welcome to another episode of the Fact Flashes Rural Talk. Now, with COVID cases rising rapidly in the country, over 66,85,000, more than 66,85,000 cases have uh, happened so far in our country. And uh, this afternoon, I've been joined by two real life hero corona warriors, Dr. Ritesh Shah and Dr. Manoj Mehta, who are from Sterling Hospital, Vadodara. Now, as all of us know that Corona these days is set to reach on its peak. There are people who are getting recovered. More than 1 lakh deaths have taken place. But there are also a lot of, uh, say, massively people have been affected after the unlock has started in the country. Now, over the next few minutes, we'll be discussing with both of them in depth on how they see the current situation. But uh, before we begin with our session, the entire team of TFF, The Fact Flash, appreciates and is very grateful to all the doctors uh, for the undaunted service that they have been providing to the society. So with this, uh, we begin our today's session. Thank you so much sir, for being here Thank with you. us. Like I said, that the situation in the country is, on one hand, there are a lot of people who are recovering. On the other hand, the cases are still increasing. But somewhere or the other, it is also said that in the mid-span, when there were like more than 93,000 cases and yes. stuff coming up now, that is coming down. So how do you see that? Definitely, uh, it, in one hand, it is encouraging news. But see, few numbers for few days doesn't matter at all. Right. If numbers are decreasing, that doesn't mean that it's, you know, the COVID cases are decreasing, number one. Number two, that it should be consistent over a period of few weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months. Then we can reasonably say that, okay, overall number right. of cases are decreasing. So just on number, we should not decrease our safety. That's the first thing that I wanted to tell you. It is definitely encouraging news if the number is really, in real sense, decreasing. Right. So how do you see this? Yeah, I agree with Dr. Ritesh. The graph should keep on uh, coming down uh, gradually and it should uh, go down uh, but uh, this is this train we need to see for another few days because right. again the cases may rise so only the numbers are not important that's what i feel right so it, it should be a steady decrease in the graph that is important Right. So there is one more discussion that has begun and that is now that people are becoming so reckless about things and going around in the city yeah. that we see every day. So is it the overconfidence somewhere that has come into people or is it that the fear of Corona has gone? I will just concluding one thing. Most indisciplined person will decide most educated person's fate. Right. This is what right now we are seeing. Uh, it's not like we should be afraid of it's more of precautions. People take it as a challenge. No, 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 I am not scared of Corona. It's, it, it should, you should not take it in that sense. It is a safety. And as a citizen, it's not only your safety. One must think of other safety as well. So if people are reckless, that means the society is in danger. Not only that person, but the society right. is in danger. So I just want to give a message that if your health, you are not worried, but others, definitely you should worry. Or if you are not worried about others' health, then you sh you are not having any right of being a citizen, right? So everyone's safety is a concern right now, and this being you know rapidly spreading disease, rapidly transmitting disease, fast spreading disease, we must take all the care which is possible, and it's everyone's duty. It's not like when one patient becomes sick, then it's doctor's duty. Right. First, it is your duty, and it is uh, once you suppose if you get it then it is your duty to spread the word that okay see i got it fortunately i am safe so this many precautions i didn't take you must take so this is a spreading education that one must take into consideration right so yeah i agree with ritesh we should not uh, fear with the disease but we should be, be taking all the precautions because the wearing masks and social distancing we have to take care of it because once the disease occurs and if it increases, then it's very difficult to control it. So safety is number one thing. And if somebody gets it, early reporting is also very important. Because the disease I have seen is such that if you uh, address it early, it, uh, results are good. But if somebody delays, the results are bad. So first is that, of course, we should not fear from it. But the precaution has to be there. Uh, social distancing, wearing masks is very, very important. Right. Yeah. Now, so one more survey has come up this morning that uh, in Mumbai, majority of the patients are below age of 40. Do you think there's a particular reason to it? There are lots of reasons, believe me. Uh, by and large, initially, 
uh, we took some time to understand the virus that okay it hits majority of this kind of like see more than 60 heart disease hypertension diabetes and so and so forth comorbidities so people now understood the disease and those people those category high of high risk pay, uh, people are taking more care right and at the same time the other people they took somewhat lightly believe me somewhat lightly and second thing the unlock happens and this is the youth which had to which go have out. to you know go out work and so so that is why the number of uh, you know young patients are gradually rising as compared to number of old age patients and number of old age patients i'm not talking about only old age but with comorbidities they tend to take more care and they are right now you know self lockdown they don't need a government to announce lockdown they are kind of self lockdown they mo uh, take more care probably what, uh, this is one of the major reason why you know young patients are increasing proportion the proportion initially because we didn't understand so everyone was going out nobody was taking precautions so it was proportionate number but now people are you know staying back those who are having comorbidities right somewhere or the other now it has also been seen that a lot of other diseases the cases of other diseases has decreased like uh, during the same time that we are into right now there is to be malaria cases there is to be dengue cases so all of that has now gradually decreased is there a reason to it according to you yeah decreased as compared to last year I, we are seeing very few such cases but the reason may be that people are taking more precautions they are not going out uh, they are taking better precaution and they are taking better uh, care about themselves that may be the reason right sir definitely you see that uh, self quarantine is also one thing people don't go out more right from home to job job to home and somehow something has happened that you know this covid virus has eaten many bacteria and uh, many viruses right. in our health talk we used to you know on lighter note we say this that it was what happens that is covid virus has you know we, the majority of other diseases like even seasonal patients have also gone down ah. this is on the lighter note but definitely there is some basic science in it as dr manoj uh, rightly said people are taking care they are with more precaution taking more precautions and that has definitely decrease cases other cases uh, like dengue malaria yes now we kept on seeing now dengue patients which is on a rise which we see in this season uh, it's a bit delayed but still we are seeing so it's not like that the 100 percent there are no other diseases there are diseases but the incidence is definitely less right now when we talk about corona it is also said that somewhere or the other it has got a lot to do with your mental being as well do you agree on that uh, Definitely yes <laughs> and that is one of the reason why people are getting more infectious, people are spreading. Suppose if someone is having fever, uh, someone is having fever, it's not fever, it's fear, right? So what they say, what they do, they don't disclose that I am having fever right? and they don't get it tested. But because of that fear that probably if I am positive then you know people, what people will say, what my family will say or what I will do, my job, I will be you know three weeks, four weeks leave and probably a biggest fear that I will further become sick if I get tested positive. And that is the reason why you know these kind of people are spreading disease more. So it, it should not be a fear but as Dr. Manoj also earlier said that if you are having fever get yourself tested earlier the detection decrease not only the chances of cure is higher but the chances of transmitting to others are also further down so right. one must take that precaution also the these diseases is different from other diseases in the way somebody gets dengue he will not spread dengue to others hmm. malaria he will not spread malaria to others but this is these diseases is such that if you get it you can spread to all family members Right. We see if somebody gets the disease, the all family member gets disease. So once you test early for the sake of safety of others as well. So early detection is very important in this. Right. So it is also said that people, if, if in case, you know, a patient or anybody has a very strong immunity, no matter what that person does not get caught with the virus. How true is that? No, it's not like that. See, immunity is important. But see, if only immunity is important, would have been important, how our athletes get the disease exactly you know athletes are having highest immunity supposed to be so it's not like that uh, if anyone is having higher immunity doesn't catch the disease but yes the chances of recovery is definitely higher and what matters here how our body handles the virus 
there is there may be a uh, hyper reaction to that uh, virus also which makes patient more sick that we are seeing you know and not only low immunity patients do suffer but uh, patients who react more to virus respond more to virus that also it's called compensatory anti inflammatory response syndrome in medical language just for the uh, sake of uh, this thing but it doesn't go hand in hand with immunity the higher the immunity less other chances of catching infection no but yes good bad, better is the immunity probably you will sail through relatively smoother as compared to those patients who are having you know less immunity right now sir uh, at the end one personal question to both of you you've been treating corona patients for all of these uh, such a long time you've been working really hard we salute that but we would want to know your personal experiences on a level while how it has gone uh, into a personal life like your family life how has it changed things and how has it made you uh, has it like brought any difference into your being as well believe me when we first have seen the case we were scared we were scared that we should we treat this patient should we not treat this patient should i go inside should i not go inside as our understanding increases definitely it's our first you know kind of a duty to attend the patient so it is just a transition period where you know we removed that fear that okay uh, if we understand better if we take precautions more probably will also get through and once the time passes will be more confident in uh, you know treating those patients and that's the say exactly the same thing happened right. you know initially what we are the fear was now we don't we are not having fear right we are having we are treating 20 20 patients on ventilator where you know very high viral load in the atmosphere also probably still we are treating those patients comfortably without you know having in mind that you know probably will get catch the disease other healthcare workers will catch the disease no we take maximum precautions and we wear ppe we take precautions so i would say that as compared to community the healthcare worker if they take more precautions the chances of spreading the disease is relatively lower if we take more precautions so that's how we have you know uh, convince ourselves and that's how we go ahead right so in the beginning the fear was Uh, too much because there was no proper medication was available, and the disease was very very bad. Particularly those who are having comorbidities, as I am having diabetes. Right. But now some better medicines have come, some better antiviral medication have come, so our fear is less. And of course we are taking all the precautions, like Ritesh said, that we are wearing PPEs. So we work with all the precautions, and of course uh, by wearing the uh, we are doing all the precautions, we safeguard ourselves. But now the fear is not not as much as it was before. Right. Thank you so much for being here with us and spending your valuable time with us. So this was the doctors of Stolling Hospital, Dr. Ratesh and Dr. Manoj with me. Once again, the entire team of TFF congratulates and thanks all of the doctors across the world who have been serving to people. And uh, with this, uh, to end the discussion, that yes, there have been cases in India that have been going down, but like both of them said, that this thing has to happen consistently for say two months or one month at least, and that is when we can exactly say that yes, corona is or the cases are actually going down in the country. with this and a lot more that you need to know make sure that you stay tuned to tfm thank you